हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप वन कॉन्सेप्चुअल प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम थ्री डायमेंशनल ज्योमेट्री राइट सो हियर वंस अगेन वी आर डीलिंग विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लाइन एंड हियर वी हैव टू फाइंड द द सिमेट्रिकल फॉर्म द डायरेक्शन रेशियोज एंड द डायरेक्शन को साइंस ऑफ अ लाइन विच इज गिवन इन अनसिमेट्रिकल फॉर्म एज these two equations right that is x plus 2y minus z is equal to 3 and 2x minus y plus z is equal to 1 right so these two equations uh, together uh, represents a line right but uh, uh, we know that the uh, usual form of the line is of this form that is x minus x1 over a Uh, y minus y1 over b and z minus z1 over c where x1 y1 z1 is the point uh, through which the line passes and a b c are the direction ratios or the directions of uh, the line right so this is the uh, symmetrical form right so this form is known as the symmetrical form right so whenever the equation of a line is given in this form then it is said to be symmetrical right but when the equation of any line is given uh, as a combination of uh, these two equations or such equations that is uh, uh, if we write it in general form that is a1x plus b1y uh, plus c1z is equal to say d1 and a2x plus b2y Uh, plus c to z uh, equal to d to right so whenever the uh, equation of a line is given as a combination of um, uh, these two equations uh, then we say that uh, the line is given in the unsymmetrical form right so here uh, in this uh, lecture we are going to uh, learn how to convert the unsymmetrical form to symmetrical form right and moreover we will also see how to find the direction ratios and the direction cosines of the uh, line right so here the unsymmetrical form is given in the form of these two uh, equations which are taken together right so let us start so now viewers uh, 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 when we convert the unsymmetrical form to symmetrical form uh, this is uh, Uh, an easy task and here uh, what we will do will first consider these two equations right that is x plus 2y minus z is equal to 3 and 2x uh, minus y plus z is equal to 1 right so what we will do in the first step uh, we'll solve these two equations and we'll try to eliminate uh, one of the um, component that is either x y or z right so what we will do uh, we will uh, solve these two equations and we'll try to eliminate uh, one of the uh, component either x y or z so here we'll select z because here we have minus here we have plus and we can easily add these two equations um, to get rid of uh, this z right so when we add uh, what we will get uh, we'll get x plus 2x 3x 2y minus y is y and here these two uh, get cancelled and here we have 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 right so now uh, we have uh, an equation in two variables that is uh, x or y right so here we have uh, uh, selected z uh, for elimination right yeah, you can also select any of uh, the variables either x y or z right okay so now in the second step what we will do uh, uh, we'll take say we'll choose any of these two variables right either x or y so here uh, i am taking x and we'll take x is equal to uh, k or some scalar right where k is some uh, scalar or we can also say that it is a real number right so we can take either x is equal to k or y is equal to k so it is up to us right okay so once we have taken x is equal to k i uh, will uh, substitute it over here right so what we will get 3k plus y is equal to 4 and we'll get y is equal to 4 minus 
uh, 3k right we can take it as equation number 2 we can take it as equation number 3 right so now we see that from equation 2 and from equation 3 x and y are represented in terms of k right so now uh, we can substitute x is equal to k and y is equal to 4 minus 3k either in this equation or in this equation right so we'll prefer uh, to substitute uh, these two values in equation 1 right so that is here so here we have uh, k then we have uh, 2 times of y that is uh, 4 minus 3k and then we have minus z is equal to 3 right so why we are substituting it here because we want to get uh, z in terms of k right so now we have k plus this is 8 and this is 2 3 is a 6 and here we have minus z and uh, this is 3 so k minus 6k is uh, minus 5k minus z is equal to 3 so z is now equal to 8 minus 5k minus 3 and z is now 8 minus 3 is 5 and this is minus 5k right so we can take it as uh, equation number 4 right so now in the next step what we will do uh, we will try to get uh, a form like this that is x minus x1 over d right so we will try to find this form x minus x1 over a uh, from equation 2 right so first we will take equation number 2 right so equation number 2 can be written as x minus 0 over 1 is equal to k right because x is equal to k can be simply written as x minus 0 over 1 is equal to k uh, which is same as uh, equation number 2 right so we have got this form right so here we have got uh, this form right and now uh, from equation number 3 so now in this uh, next step what we will do uh, we'll take equation number 3 and we'll try to get this form right that is y minus y1 over b right so what we will do we'll take 4 to this side so we have y minus 4 is equal to minus 3k and we can take minus 3 in the denominator so we have y minus 4 over minus 3 is equal to k right so now uh, we have got uh, this form that is uh, y minus uh, y1 over b right because this equation and this equation are same but uh, the way of writing is different right okay so now we'll take the equation number four so from uh, four uh, we can write z minus five is equal to minus five k and again we'll take minus five to the denominator so we have z minus five over minus five is equal to k so now we have got this form that is z minus z1 over uh, c right so now uh, we see that uh, uh, here we have x minus uh, 0 over 1 here we have uh, y minus 4 over minus 3 and here we have z minus 5 over minus 5 right and we see that all these uh, three quantities are equal to the same number that is k right so we can equate uh, all these three terms and here we can write k right so now uh, we see that we have got this form and this is the uh, required uh, symmetrical form of uh, the equation of this line right so viewers we, uh, we have seen how easily we have got uh, this form right and now uh, since uh, this form is uh, uh, the symmetrical form uh, we can compare this equation with this one right so when we compare this equation with this one we see that uh, uh, x1 uh, y1 and z1 is uh, uh, given by uh, 0 comma 4 comma 5 right and uh, this line uh, passes through this point so this is one of the uh, point through which uh, this uh, line uh, passes right so now uh, the 
uh, if we compare these two equations again uh, we will get a is equal to 1 then b is equal to minus 3 and c is equal to minus 5 right and we know that a b c are uh, known as the direction ratios of the line right so the direction ratios that is the drs of uh, the line are given by a b and c right and when we compared these two equations uh, we got uh, 1 then we have minus 3 and minus 5 so these are the uh, direction ratios of this line right now we are required to find the direction uh, cosines so what we will do we will uh, uh, make use of the uh, relation between direction ratios and direction cosines so for this uh, we'll find the quantity uh, we can say it r and r is uh, given by uh, square root of a square plus b square plus c square and we see that uh, a square that is a is 1 so 1 square is 1 b square minus 3 square is 9 and minus 5 square is 25 so this is uh, 10 9 plus 1 uh, 10 and here we have a square root of 35 right now uh, let us uh, uh, denote the direction cosines of the line uh, by uh, l m and n right and we know that uh, the relation between l and a b c is given by uh, l can be written as a over square root of a square plus b square plus c square and for simplicity uh, we have uh, assumed that this quantity that is square root of a square plus b square plus c square is given by r so we can uh, write l as a over r right and similarly m can be written as uh, uh, b over r and n can be written as uh, uh, c over r right so now l is uh, a over r a is uh, 1 so we have 1 over square root of 35 then we have m m is uh, b over r b is minus 3 over square root of 25 and n is uh, uh, c over r c is uh, minus 5 and uh, r is square root of 30 5 right so viewers uh, the direction cosines of the line are given by l m n so we can now write it in uh, this form that is 1 over square root of 35 that is l m is uh, minus 3 over square root of 35 and n is minus 5 over square root of 35 right and from these uh, direction cosines we can also verify the relation that is l square plus m square plus n square is equal to 1 that is sum of the squares of the direction uh, cosines of a line is equal to 1 right so viewers uh, this is how we uh, solve this problem and uh, in this uh, uh, lecture uh, we have seen how to convert the unsymmetrical form of a line into symmetrical form and how to find the direction ratios and direction cosines of the given line.